Hi everyone, so I decided to do a voiceover and that is why it looks like my hands are talking separately. Um, <laughs> I have been struggling a little bit with my art in the sense of, you know, when you work really, really hard, you find it very difficult to relax and switch off work. And then once you finally do manage to relax and switch off, it's kind of really hard to get back into that hardcore routine of, you know, working on schedule and having that routine going again. So this is where I am and I find that talking right now during videos as I'm making art at the same time is really difficult. So I decided to do a voiceover. So what I'm showing you here today um, is something I did the other night, which basically um, was a little swatch that I've done on the back of the sketchbook and then I decided to add a quote like a positive affirmation or positive thinking quote and stamp that and did a bit of doodle over the watercolors and so um, I'm showing you this stamp set which is a new stamp set that I got and not really happy with it because it really stamps quite messily all the letters sorry all the yeah the letters and um, so it's really a, a messy look, but it looks handmade. So I will use a different stamp set, set today, which you will see. However, I just was showing you something that uh, I did. And so this is where the idea came from. I wanted to create a very easy um, way of getting back into kind of creating, but it's not too much pressure. So it's just a swatch upon which I then doodle and also use a quote. Instead of writing it, I'm stamping it, that's all. So it's really easy, straightforward, but hopefully that should ignite some creativity. You will see my style has um, been quite or will be quite different in the next few videos just because I'm trying to really push myself uh, out of my comfort zone and really try something different, try something new again in the hope that I will get my art mojo back. So here are the stamp sets I was just um, sharing there that the I still have few left of the face of the day clear stamp sets in my Etsy shop which is um, Alona Creates um, but the floral set has been sold out I think just during Christmas or just before so that's great news for me but some of you have been really um, expressing your wish of me bringing it back in stock because you would love to get it and because the demand has been quite high uh, I'm pretty positive that I will do a restock but I can't tell you the exact date but within the next couple of months you will see a lot of um, new things on my Etsy shop and hopefully at the same time I'll be able to bring out this stamp set as well so here I decided to play with that Perfect Pearls by Ranger. It's something that's been sitting uh, in my cupboard with all the other art uh, supplies for quite a while. It still had that label so I had to like open it so it really um, hasn't been used before at all. So this idea of this powder it's sort of actually in fact last night i watched the release uh, of the creativation for ranger's new products for two um for 2020 and they are bringing out new colors and then i saw it being used again by their media i think was a director or media manager i forgot the lady's name but um she showcased them so Basically, these are different in terms of embossing powders. They're not quite like the ones the ones that you need the heat to emboss with and make the powders melt together. These are a bit more subtle. They have a very fine powder and you can use them on... Um, in fact, just before I showed you where I tried out the embossing ink pad and then the 
Versamark watermark ink and it seemed to have worked better with the watermark ink for some reason possibly because the emboss um, ink pad might have been a little bit on a dry side um, but it's supposed to work with both the way I understand and then um, what you do is you just uh, use a little brush so you don't waste too much of the powder because you don't actually need that much powder and you just lightly brush it on to the um, watermark lines and then you brush off the excess anyway you will see me do all of that in a mere bit so to begin with I am just roughly creating a few swatches here and there and um, using a quite quite a muted color palette. I'm not into brights at the moment. Uh, having taken quite a break from art about two weeks, I sort of um, lean towards more darker or muted colors at the minute. I do once in a while enjoy also um, some of my typical combo of the yellow or the orange with the mint which again you'll see come through in the next week I think so yeah for this one I use the Mayan Blue Genuine by Daniel Smith and the Payne's Grey also by Daniel Smith it's my favorite grey it's just so gorgeous it's a classic and um, Without really mixing the two colors, I think I just kind of created two blobs in the shape of flower, but uh, it won't really matter in the end because I f completely forgot that I was going to use my clear stamp set. So this is the floral stamp set. Again, if you haven't had a chance to purchase it and you are or would be interested in purchasing it, always feel free to message me on Etsy and uh, otherwise also leave comments here on YouTube. Um, so I invite you to do that because then it gives me a good understanding of what numbers we're looking at roughly so that I don't over uh, produce stamps uh, the way it works with business or you know Etsy business or businesses that run at home. We don't want to end up uh, investing money into something that will be sitting at home for a very long time before it sells out so we want to sell it out so it's good for us but of course uh, um, we want to satisfy you as customers as well okay so i just did very basic stamping with that watermarking so here you can see just on the tip of the brush i am applying on the lines where the watermark ink is sitting that very fine powder so this is a herlin gold i think it's called i will put it down below all the inks uh, inks <laughs> all the links will be um, as always in the description so that you can find things if you're interested really easily and you can see that now the powder has adhered to that watermarking and it is quite visible but it is very subtle compared to the um, traditional embossing or heat embossing powder so now I'm just going over it very gently and taking the excess of the powder to the bin because it's just very tiny it's literally like a tiny little dusting of it and because the powder is very light uh, it actually more of it goes into the air than you know it's not like the other embossing powder which is a lot heavier and uh, the particles are bigger so here I'm showing you what I've done there is I did dry it a little bit with the heat tool but not to set it with the heat tool it was more so to make sure that the Versamark um, or the watermark by um, Versa whatever ink it is called has been dried properly and then that seems to have done it nicely because it is recommended that the you can see the gold looks beautiful there it is recommended that this powder this perfect pearls uh, powder is set with water but honestly I don't get it because I tried it a couple of times and I can't say that I got the best result for me the best result I'm getting is with watermark ink and just setting it tiny little bit with a 
heat gun just to again more for the uh, ink rather than the actual powder it seems to make the powder adhere better to the ink that way so then I'm moving on to doodling and I am just doing fine lines and that looks so so pretty so you could um, create a nice large watercolor wash and then uh, create a whole floral uh, arrangement in this case I'm just making two flowers and um, that will be it so now I decided to doodle around the stamped image just to give it a little bit more substance because it felt like the the watercolor wash was slightly larger than the actual flower and so I wanted the pen marks and lines and noodles to come through so hence there you go you can see it all uh, it's looking lovely and you can go as large as little as you want and that is pretty much it in terms of the doodling part and embellishing it and kind of making it look a little bit more pretty and the variety of lines I'm trying to change them up a little bit again that just makes it a bit more interesting as you can see I added there a few dots uh, to make it look like lace so there I'm connecting the two flowers and adding some foliage to their very clean very um, basic but very effective I find um, again so if you feel more adventurous in terms of colors you're sick of winter and you want um, bright colors then you can change up the color palette and suit your mood now on to the next part which is the quote so i went on instagram and i typed in good quotes and you get a bunch of accounts and it, basically they're doing all the same thing just find something that appeals to you the most and um I found this quote which says when something slash someone is genuinely good you can feel it in your spirit I think it says there so I quite like that quote and I will take something out and leave someone so um, just because I thought it sounds a little bit better and yeah so I found or found I didn't find it but I grabbed a different stamp set as I promised this one is the uh, the one by tiger yeah so the one in the tiger shop it was very very affordable I think just a few pounds compared actually to the uh, stamp set that I really disliked you know the one that I showed you before <clears throat> and the sometimes you really have to see well sometimes you do have to see um the lettuce or the font of it so the packaging of a stamp set for alphabet has to be visible and in the case of the other one it was designed in such a way that it was really unclear what font it was but there were a couple of letters peeping uh from underneath the label of it and i thought that that would be the stamp uh, or the, the font design and it wasn't so it was quite disappointing because really then you're buying a product without even knowing what you're buying but you know sometimes you can risk something uh, like that and then end up with a um, little gem you discover and sometimes it's a little bit of a failure and so in this case like I'm saying is um the stamp set is about three times cheaper than the other one and it's so much such a good quality so much better made um, funny enough also the fact that the um, um, the wooden blocks are slightly larger they're easier to handle and just the whole thing makes it more clean so the process of using an alphabet stamp set slows you down quite a bit and writing it out is very quick even if you would use like a fountain pen or a dip pen and do some interesting cursive writing that even that would be faster so this is very very slow the, the entire video is sped up like 
twice so it's uh, it took me quite a bit of time to finish so here I actually messed up as you can see I stamped the L after N instead of the E and the reason for it was I got a message on my phone and immediately I looked at it and then sort of that took my attention off so that's the messed up bit there which I you know you sometimes have to live with certain things because they add character and that's what I'm trying to see in this but it is a little bit messy um, so yeah sometimes you really have to concentrate actually you always have to really concentrate when you're doing letter stamping I find that I also do sometimes um, you know like spelling mistakes and yeah it's just it's um it's a different way of writing when you write with your hand it's like your brain is connected and you know the spelling if you know it then you will write it with the stamping even if you know the spelling you kind of concentrate too much of not making any mess around it and and kind of sometimes um create mistakes like that so there i am almost finished with stamping it and also i'm thinking of how to fill the space um so there's a big chunk of space at the top so i decided to put most of the quote on top of the page at the uh, top part of it and then kind of spread it out and make it uh, flow into the side of it and then also how i'm placing the words um, to create also a more balanced shape of the quote and I like the the idea of adding words to art it sort of is a is a contemporary way of jazzing up things and also you know making a piece of art carry a message as well as the art so combining the two so that's it that's the finished look and it was really fun very easy um, something that makes me read as well as appreciate the art when I flip through my art journal so I thought that's a good way of kind of uh, shaking off the you know holiday lack of time for art but you know some of you might actually be the opposite maybe you had uh, more time to do art and now that you're back to work um, you you do less art but in my case I do art for a living and so that was my holiday so I decided to um, do a little break there so that is it I hope you enjoyed it and recreate it in your own journal thanks for watching